Good evening everyone, I hope you are having a fantastic day. So I've managed to get through to half past ten UK time uh, after coming back from Orlando and it is good. I'm going to be able to sleep in UK's time so I won't be able to get any jet lag which would be great. So I've successfully achieved my target for the day which is great. And then um, someone messaged me and said, hey, have you seen this song is going crazy right now the world is talking about it and this young lady has got 1 million views on YouTube for her performance on The Voice of Germany 2009 Blinds and I was like no, do you know what I haven't I really haven't and then what even what made me even more interested was she was singing a song from The Greatest Showman so it got me thinking and I was thinking to myself well The Greatest Showman for me is a fantastic musical I absolutely love The Greatest Showman I love the movie I love all the songs I like the camaraderie about it all I like the story that it tells I like the journey I like the fact that it's you know all family orientated and it talks about a man man or woman indeed wanting to you know achieve the best for their family and do everything it takes to get there and then I realized when when this when I looked at this video obviously I've literally loaded it up now and it started to download some of it that she is singing probably the most iconic song in that show so in the greatest show showman there are various different tracks that are sung obviously a lot are very popular but I think it's fair to say that this particular song is the iconic you know the creme de la creme the main standout piece of the greatest showman and it's called never enough now as you all know i'm very very critical of music especially when it comes to very very popular songs or key creme de la creme songs in movies theater performances whatever it may, may be so as you can imagine when I read when I saw this and read the title I was very very interested to see how well she does and considering she's got over a million views in such a short space of time would indicate to me that she did well now before we get going into this I just wanted to say that to sing this song and get it right takes a lot of gump in my opinion because you need a, a lot of skill to sing this properly you can try and mimic it and it would just fall flat on its face you, you have to you, you you have to give it your all or don't bother doing it and you have to have such skill in order to master the notes the control and to win over the crowd because everyone obviously associates this song with obviously the film and because it's still fairly fresh and uh, Hugh Jackman was travelling the world with, with the great showman cast everyone is aware of this song so it's very very popular so I thought why not let's just jump on it let's do another video let's keep me distracted and and sink back into UK time. So without further ado, this is the greatest showman song, Never Enough, and it's being sung by by Claudia Emanuela Santosa on the Voice of Germany 2019 blinds. Let's give this a go. Let's see you know what she does. Like I said, it's gotta be popular. But let's see what happens. I've just moved on obviously to this bit here. Let's go. Get past the introduction phase. Oh wow, she wow, she's got people watching on a live cam. Okay, she looks just, just quick an analysis of this. She looks quite petite and small, and I'm without even knowing her, you need 
Gumpf, like I said, you need that power. You need like like an Adele voice. You need the strength and the charisma to really, really belt this song out. I hope she doesn't ruin it. I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand Will you share this with me? Starling without you The shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from night sky. Okay, and also just to confirm as well with this song, you need the gumph, you need you need the strength, you need the power, you need everything else. But not only that, you are standing on an audition stage, you were doing your blinds, so the nerves you can't let the nerves get the better of you when you're trying to control your vocal cords and those those delicate notes that are coming out because th cause that really brings the song into to life is that if you if you are too harsh if you don't if you don't cut off at the right point it's not going to sound good at all so so far she's controlling that but it's still early on we'll never be So she's doing it again. That will explain why that video is so long. So she's going to do it again. Wow. Okay. Let's, let's see. Then this will be true to her if she can replicate what she's just achieved or whether her throat's too dry. This will just show how good she is as a singer. So let's, let's give this a go. Here we go. See? I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end Take my hand Will you share this with me? Starling without you shine of thousand spotlights all the stars we steal from night sky will never be enough will never be enough towers of gold are still to lit up
Okay, so it looks like there's going to be lots of judges talking afterwards. I might have to look back at it afterwards, just in case there was something out that I missed. But so we've got this Claudia lady singing "Never Enough," one of the most iconic, one of the most powerful, one of the most unique yet tricky songs to sing. And it's like I said to you before, I tried to explain it that when you sing the song, you can't. You, there is a lot of skill involved with controlling those notes especially for a lady controlling that lower register ladies don't tend to have that range at the bottom that can control it properly and if they try to do it it doesn't sound quite right it almost sounds a bit flat you can't really get into it and it's a bit like you then you then will lose it and you'll notice when women try to do it for example I, I don't think I've ever seen a guy do it but that's what I'm saying women um, if they if they don't hit those notes or they're nervous about hitting those lower register notes the, the song will go flat because the nerves are getting the better of them and if they don't think they've hit it first off that will continue throughout the rest of the song but with Claudia here no, there was only a couple of times where I thought she didn't need to hold it long enough or that I suddenly went oh just because it was either cut short or the pronunciation was wasn't as clear cut and that's me being very critical now again being that it's an audition being that um, I don't know her nationality but I don't think it's obviously English just to clarify um, she did extremely well and the fact that we got to hear it twice and she managed to replicate the first performance into the second performance without any problems says a lot about her music capability and her skill set the vibrato and oh, the falsetto as well when, when she sang those notes the and the sustain that she had when she she just she held it just for the right amount of time she could have gone shorter she could have gone a lot longer but it just wouldn't have worked and even when she didn't completely replicate as in uh, copy if you like the the original performance because whereas she was going into to the, that big belt in the song she used a trill to go into different aspects of that register of the musical register which is different than the original song but she was still able to have the the balls if you like to to attempt that even though the song itself is an extremely powerful and difficult song to sing especially at an audition phase if you hear what I'm saying so she was fantastic her musical capability is spot on her range was very very good because she could hit the lower notes and she could also hit the high register without any problems and she did it quite effortlessly as well where you'll see some trying to move the mic to the side so you can't hear any of the pitching or the tuning or trying to hit that because they're trying to strain to get those notes she didn't have that even when she did the belt as well on that that iconic note she didn't fluff it she didn't over sing that section it was obviously in tune and she was a and fundamentally she was able to tell the story which is what for me makes this particular song so powerful you you could sing the lyrics to the song very well but if you don't sing in a way that's going to entice people in like pull them in and believe the story believe that you mean those words it's pointless in my opinion one of the clever aspects of this for those that have seen The Greatest Showman is this very very key point in the movie when the lady sings this song but it's telling a story 
which is why it feels so powerful and so emotional. And when Claudia here sang that for the second time, I got goose pimples. The hairs on my arm stood up and on the back of my neck and I could feel it. And that for me is a real spot on performance. I just know that I really liked it. So I hope that makes sense. And I'm sure I could explain a little bit more, but with jet lag and feeling exhausted, uh, I haven't been able to maybe cover every aspect, but I thought I'd jump on in on this because this is fantastic. Hands down, the best cover performance of Never Enough I have heard so far on the internet. And I've heard a few, but Claudia and Manuela Santoso is the the best so far for her cover and rendition of Never Enough, in my opinion so that's fantastic so let me know what you guys think let me know what you thought of this performance <clears throat> because like I said I think all of you would agree that it's, it's an iconic piece and it can just be try and be replicated but it just won't be the same and then it would just fall flat on its face really but the fact that she she had the musical capability and the range in order to be able to achieve that and the balls to go for it and when she was getting ready to hit those belts, she changed, she showed us that she could hit different notes within that key register, which was still within tune, which could have quite easily gone off because the nerves and the moment, she didn't lose it. She controlled it the whole way through and it was really, really good. So hat off to you, Claudia. Absolutely fantastic. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know whether you liked this performance. Let, you know, let me know whether you think you sort of agree whether you think that this was a really good performance i'm really really intrigued to know but yeah be great guys if you are new to the channel just quickly before i go my name is pw prince weasley and i do a number of live reactions to various different artists from across the world you name it it will probably be in my playlist and in the description section just below there'll be a link to my playlists and i'll show you all the, the playlists that are available for you to click on if you're interested in checking out other videos if you are check them out bit of fun let me know what you think if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll be ever so grateful. And for those that don't know, whenever you put a comment in the comment section, I will always respond or reply to those comments. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned for further videos in the very near future. But for now, I'll bid you farewell. Have a good evening. Bye bye.